Hello, it is Beanie here. In this quick video, I'll be updating into the few indexes I'm looking at, which would be Hang Seng Index, Hang Seng Tech, and also the US 500, which is S&P 500. Last night, I've already updated with my community that we should be going short into the S&P 500. And this morning when I woke up, the short was, it was in profit. And because of the Fitch, downgraded us this is a big news and and that's really caused the market to move down for example uh, sti streets times in that move, move down right now about 1.5 percent and Hang Seng down about 2.47 percent i'm expecting this move could continue as long as us continue to correct but then let's update um with this video and we see how now if you like to get more prompt update because it takes time to make the video then you can follow me in telegram so remember to scan this qr code so that you get most updated, I mean, opinions or views or thoughts from me. All right, so let's get started into Hang Seng Index. So this is the value of Hang Seng Index, the resistance. I think it's not the first time that I talk about this resistance, which was about 20,300 in my videos. If you review into this video here, which I've inserted in the comment section, then you find the videos I talk about this level, which is 20,300 that's coincide with a previous high as well as the high of the equidistance channel. Now in this case, if this equidistance channel is going to be valid, then I'll be looking at somewhere near to the bottom of the channel for a re-entry into Hang Seng Index. But again, I need to see some bullish sign. Okay, the bullish sign that I wouldn't look out for would be a bullish wash and wins pattern. All right, so let's take a look into Hang Seng Tech. So this is Hang Seng Tech exactly hit into the levels I mentioned, and that was about uh, 4,650 plus minus this level here. I said before that it is going to hit into this level first before going into the higher level and the sub level will be very important. In, in this case, I'll be looking out for the support level at 4,300 to see whether it's being supported. I won't be catching there because it is such an obvious support, which I think that the market will likely break it. So I'll be just waiting out for some form of reactions. Okay, and, and that I will update that later. More on into the stocks that I mentioned, for example, Tencent. Uh, this is the Tencent I mentioned in my Tencent video. Again, I included that in the comment section, which I've talked about the resistance at 360. So this was the resistance at 360. And why I didn't put a very high resistance, a rather very high resistance, was because there isn't any change in structure. That means that I explained the video also in the earlier video that I need to see price going higher that means that if this is a high here all right i need to see that price actually break that structure first before being very aggressive or thinking that i should be holding for a longer term but price never break above this high here and i have to assume that it is still acting as a resistance the other one is by two by two was an ai stock that i covered much earlier somewhere around this price here, I think, okay, uh, no, um, I think somewhere around this price here, about 130 plus minus. The resistance is very obvious, it was around this zone here, right, so um, that hit the resistance as well. I'll be looking for some retracement. Again, each of the levels I mark in will be important uh, level, but as I mentioned it earlier, I need to look out for a bullish signal. That means that it won't be such that, you know, I would just catch it at the bottom. No, all right. I will need to look out for some bullish signal. All right. Lastly, Alibaba. Alibaba mm, moves up and near to the $100 level. And that is also into the resistance level, which I mentioned. All right. Just shine a little bit lower. So I probably mentioned somewhere around here. I, I think that same, it hasn't broken any structure. So if you ask me, then what am I looking for? You know, because a lot of Hong Kong stocks, they don't break above any of the highs. So in this case, uh, what is very important in a downward movement, that means that if you are generally still bullish on Hong Kong market, then you want to look out for those stocks that had already broken a structure. That means that, for example, if the structure is higher, you want to look out for those stocks that had already broke out of the high. So for example, uh, Gili is one example here, right? We know that the whole trend it's still down, okay, and then this would be the next major structure here. All right, of course, there would be some substructure which are actually very, very near. 
Okay, but what is good is that Jili, Jili had already broken this structure here. So this would be a major structure that had already broken. And of course, it's coming into some of the recent low acting as a resistance. But because the fact that it had already broken through that structure, then in this retracement, you want to look out for price to retrace and get supported. That means that while overall the market is correcting because there are some weaknesses around there you want to look out for those stocks that had already broken out of a structure and you wait for that retracement to come and the retracement is good because then it means that you're able to buy at a cheaper price when price retraces okay so this is how generally uh, the te technique you want to adopt when overall the market is correcting but you know um uh, a stock had already broken out of a structure. Okay, lastly, let's take a look into S&P 500, which is um, US 500. I'm just going to use an indexed, uh, I'm just going to use a CFD, sorry, a CFD to look at it. Few things, right? You know, for S&P 500, this was a recent high. So this one was that recent high. Okay, however, at this place here, so this this was it, right? This to me would be a very important high point to look out for. Okay, because the recent high would be very much looked at by the market. Okay. And in this sense here, my argument is that something that is gonna be very obvious will not come true first. Okay, so something that's not too obvious would act first right so therefore the second level that's I mark in gray would be the one that's not too obvious okay so this was my argument that I put forth during the last night shot that I did with my students now of course there are reasons for considering this because there was a uh, wash and means let me just point to you here it was so minor it wasn't very obvious and I had to check across the different price feed so these were that washed level here so price had a bit of a closed above the previous high but still the resistance is intact and then price turned the other way and that becomes the wash and rinse again if you want to look at how it's how we trade with wash and rinse okay for a, a brief glimpse on it then you can refer to this video here which talks about stop hunt and fake prices of course, uh, price is near to this support level here. Okay, so that means that we have reached our first level of target profit already. And if there should be a follow through, that means that if price should continue to break lower, such as for example, uh, price will break this 4,530 level. I'll just give it a little bit of a buffer, for example, 4,520 level. Then we should continue to see some weaknesses here. But in any case, this is still a very strong uptrend, even so that we are seeing weaknesses here. That doesn't mean that the market is going to come down a lot. It still needs to take time. And I think that this is only for trading, meaning that if price should come down and find, let's say, a support region around here, this level, this is what I'm expecting, then it should probably stop and rebound unless that there are some bad news coming along the way and then price just plunge through the support level. All right, so this is um, my minor update. If you are interested to know more, please remember to click the subscribe button so that you know as soon as I post new videos, you will be updated. And as well as do scan this Telegram channel whenever there's breaking news or thoughts, right, that I need to update immediately, you'll be notified.